Okay, here we are into game number one of BWA slash DRE. So either straight up Compton or Brothers Platitude versus Team TCOG. And as things are going through very quickly, you can tell this is a replay or a remade game. So we can effectively ignore the, ignore the bands and just run through the actual selections. Uh, this is the consolation match. So both of these teams lost their. Uh, sorry, it's the losers match. So both of these teams lost in match one or match two. Uh, of course, there's a BWA forfeiting to Twisted Fusion, which put Twisted Fusion in the winner's match. And Team Kage losing to uh, NK, no keyboard, or Neon Knights, depending on what you want to call them. Um, so this is winner go home for both of these teams. Uh, whichever team takes this game will get put up against the winner of, or the loser of the winner's match in the consolation match, and then whichever team wins that will be the second seed from this group. So one seed coming out of the winner of the winner's match, and the other seed coming out of the winner of the consolation match, which is we are this series, then the um, loser's match. So the, sorry, this is the loser's match, and then there's the winner of this goes to the consolation match. So that's how that happens. It is really complicated, yes, uh, but it does work, and it ends up putting a loser's bracket and everything, so everything's double elimination, and um, both sides are, that means, of course, in the loser's bracket, essentially, which means they are fighting for their tournament lives. Um, so going over these teams real fast on the Hellborn side, Torture, Bubbles, Pandemonium, Aluna, and Madman. So Pandemonium, very interesting, as Mr. Ling is playing for TCOG, um, they do have an expansive roster, so um, he's coming in here as a Another option, Sequence, also showing up, and he will be playing that Madman. So, some pretty different um, players here compared to what we normally see from Team TCOG, but they should do just fine nonetheless, of course. Um, fairly well-known players here, especially Pandy, Mr. Ling, and Sequence. All have, of them have played competitive on before, have been featured before, and as a result, we know who they are. Um, Looking at the lanes real fast, this is looking like an aggressive tri-lane as, of course, there is no jungler here for Team TCOG, so this looks like it might be a solo top madman who's in some trouble. He gets the stock off, and he isn't going to be able to get away, so he sees the entire Legion team up here in his jungle, scouting him out, and going to try to take out um, Zibe there. Sorry, I always going to say Zibe because he plays so much madman, but... Excuse me, that is Sequence up there. So it's look like, looking like he's going to be solo top. This is an aggressive pseudo Shry lane from the Legion side, as it's going to be Drunken Master Madman. Sorry, Drunken Master Master of Arms, so too many Masters. And Parasite in the jungle, up against the dual support lineup here. On the Hellborn side, it is running an aggressive Dry lane. Kraken going to be in the bottom lane, bottom lane, going to see this torture. And all by himself, he should get completely shut down. Um, assuming this ends up being an aggressive tri of course, it, it probably won't stay that way, especially if Kraken just stays here by himself. So he's going to take some uh, damage here, actually, and before he even gets to lane, he's going to be quite a lot hurt. Chain reactions, everything hitting it, he's forced to charge away. So Panda going to be totally fine down here, complete free farm. And if Kraken steps up, as now he's in trouble, there's the chain reactions into the flick, where's the power throw? It's going to happen there, we'll clip him, this is going to be a dead Kraken. So, Hellborn team just diving like crazy, getting an easy bloodlust on a crack in there. Well, not even easy bloodlust, but getting definitely a bloodlust. Blood and that's going to be the death of Kraken. So we'll see if this continues. Uh, Wretched Hag versus Bubbles in the middle, that's a pretty even matchup. Uh, both team sides have their kill potential. Neither should die, really, as they have reasonably effective um, getaways. Bubbles, of course, a little harder to get off than just a straight blink, but with the take cover, and really, Hag cannot follow him. Anyway, so, it doesn't matter. So, it should be an effective dominance down here for the Hellborn with this tri-lane. Up top, Madman should be boxed out pretty effectively with uh, Master Arms over here. But Sequence is playing pretty ballsy. Getting right up in that creep wave, knowing he's got stock, so if he gets in some trouble, he can get away. And of course, being able to put Harassment out and even get creep kills with that ability. So his only problem up there is going to really be mana, and hopefully we'll see an early bottle coming out of him. He was pooled some regen, I believe, yeah, health bot. And he's actually got four tree eaters left, so he came to lane with a ton of regen. And as a result, should be pretty difficult to kill. And the only thing that he's missing is there is mana. 
but he should get a fair number of CS and be able to grab a relatively quick bottle, up to 345 gold already, and so she should have it in a matter of minutes. So Parasite here, doing a lot of <laughs> roaming around, not really sure where he wants to be. He was in the Hellborn jungle to begin with, but I think he sort of realized getting a kill on sequence up there is going to be extremely difficult because of the stock. So I guess he could come bottom, but then again, who's going to die down here? I mean, they have three heroes, all of them have stuns, and Kraken's nowhere, not going to get anywhere near the levels he needs to be able to initiate, as Torture's already just forcing him back under his tower. He's getting nothing here. He has 47 experience per minute. So that's pretty ugly for Kraken here. So, um, it's really going to come down to mid, I think, a lot of the play is, as we see Hag is 9-0 compared to a 10-7 Bubbles, so Bubbles definitely winning this lane, and as a result, Hellborn has taken a pretty significant advantage, 1k gold, 1k experience, as the Shell Surf goes out there on top of the Sonar Scream. And Kraken might be in some trouble here, Power Throw going to hit, there is the flick into the Cannonball, and the Chain Reaction stun, so... Lots of stacking stun there, but Kraken's still going to fall. As the massive dive comes out, but nobody will pay for it. Huge creep wave here getting dragged up. And this bot tower is going to take a ton of damage. Port coming in here from Kraken. As he will be able to get these creeps away a little bit. And Panda's just going to run away, not going to have his health pot or mana pot stopped. As he does already have boots, and Kraken obviously does not. So Kraken's just having an awful time up here as the creep wave gets pushed all the way back to top tower and Panda will be able to use that to get some more farm, as if he didn't need it. Up top, Sequence doing pretty okay, 14 and 2 compared to 25, 21 and 5 Drunken Master, so no surprise DM winning the CS battle here, but um, Sequence's job is really not to get to win this lane, it's to stay alive. This is a suicide short lane, really, um, as much as anything. And he's certainly doing a fine job of that. 220 GPM compared to the 285 of Drunken Master. And of course, not dying. Very important. And yeah, so he will take a little harass there, but not too much. Bubble is going to put the Shell Surf out. Actually, Sonar Scream misses, and Hag will be forced to blink away. I'm not sure if the Shell Song of the Sea you hit, for that matter. So Bubbles has his bottle in mid, and Torture is even pulling the wave here as they want to kill this bot tower. It's pretty funny, you usually don't see the other team pulling the wave. But that's what's going to happen here so that Panda, and now Aluna actually has left and gone top. But there will be some significant tower damage here, and it probably will be a tower kill. Whether it's denied or not is the question. Glyph comes out, but that's not going to be enough. The creep wave is all the way back here. And Torture just going to kite it all the way around. I think Kraken probably not even going to try to deny this. It is going to be a free tower kill here for the like, Hellborn team. <coughs> and that's going to be a pretty significant gold boost, as they manage to get up to 2.6k gold and 1.5k experience. Three-man gank squad up here at the top lane for the Legion side, looking for somebody. Aluna's off to the side, so she'll be fine, and the sequence up here on this madman is totally all right. In middle, Bubbles taking some damage, actually. He's level 6 compared to Hag's level 5, but Hag has a, a haste rune. There's a shell surf. Oh, nice song of this year. Actually, he runs out of the kelp field, and that kills him. Oh, man, he had enough health. If he had just waited, he'd probably have to tank the creep wave for another second or two and then, then run away. So a bit of a misplay there from Wretched Hag, giving up a kill to Penny, but nice sonar scream, finishing him off. As Sequence will run away back into the woods, try to survive, he has no health and no mana. So he's going to need some support to get out of this. Or maybe not. He could probably just run away right now. He doesn't know that, of course, we have God Vision, and, and he doesn't realize that there isn't somebody sitting in the lane over here waiting to kill him, but he is now going to realize that and just run on out will be totally fine. And as Kraken's in some trouble here, didn't get the Song of Seas, Chain Reactions miss, and he should be okay, still has the charge up. Is he going to use it? There it is. But the Shell Surf's back up from Bubbles pretty soon. And, oh, nice Bat Blast, Torture can't finish off, Shell Surf not going to hit Kraken, and Bubbles will get on out of there. Power Throw also not going to connect, wouldn't have been enough anyway, so Kraken survives, helps Hag get a kill onto that Torture. As Hag says, I have more burst damage than you do. And Panny 
Ten spell was still playing a little aggressive. Can he get back under the tower? He has support from Luna, so that's part of it. And his bot is actually getting pushed in even by Panda. His tower less than half, thanks to that cannon. Up top, Sequence get a kill, gets a kill on Drunken Master, as he just chases him down. It's not what you're looking for, so he does go that bottle route. I very much like that decision. And bot tower is going to get pushed in pretty heavily here. It probably won't fall. Especially as Panda does not have the mana to clean up a creep wave. And he's up top, sorry. Master of Arms gets cleaned up there as he takes the uh, Emerald Stun and all sorts of damage here from the Hellborn side. And he finally gets a kill. Barrel Roll comes here into Parasite, and he has nothing to do fast. There's a Chain Reactions, and Parasite's gonna fall here almost certainly. Sonar Scream comes in there on top. And Sequence is going to get in some trouble. Dust of Revelation, but of course doesn't matter all that much. As Hag's looking for the finish, yes, gets the Sonar Scream. Will be able to live here? Yeah, there's no mana on the Hellborn side, so Hag's just going to walk away from this, using those bottle charges. And DM's coming in for some reason, probably because nobody on the Hellborn team has any mana. Nice take cover there from Bubble is going to stop the lunge. As now Master's here. Oh man, he messes Shell Strip up so badly, he's going to fall as a result. So, Panny trying to get over that cliff with a Shell Surf, but double tapped it and stays under. You can understand, bit of a panic mode, trying to disjoint that sun from Master of Arms as well. But, not quite able to. Nonetheless, Hellborn is still in the lead, both in terms of hero kills and resources. As Kraken's finally getting some farm down here. 98 gold per minute. The lowest in the game, by quite a bit. Everybody in the Hellborn team farming fairly well. 200 GPM on both Torture and Luna. As those assists and kills and stuff help in bot. Invis running here on Panda looking for something to kill. Master Farms is over here, but it's going to take some interesting pathing to get them to meet. And it looks like Panda will just head back middle, possibly look for a tower push here. Or even through their jungle, of course, not spotted by the tower there. Parasite here with the Vulture Lord. They just gonna they could just sit on him and wait for him to come out of it. It's curious that they didn't. Now Luna's gonna be here and see him. Instead, they're more interested in going for a kill on this Kraken. As he's now gonna spot the torture and realize he's in some trouble. There's Panda, Impale and Sun, Chain Reaction's actually gonna miss. There's the flick, actually gonna stop the charge to some extent. That was really weird. All those auto attacks, flurries, sorry, going in there, and a bunch of damage on a Kraken, so. Really more damage than I expected coming out on the Kraken. Sequence going to farm with the jungle a little bit here. Taking a stack. As Bubbles and Luna are looking for a kill on the Hag. Shell Server come out and the Song of the Sea. There's the stun on top of the kill field. Power throws there as well. Going to blink away, take the stun, and that's as a result going to kill her. Nice clean up there from Sequence. So a bit unfortunate there from Hag. Pushed up just far enough for the initiation from Hellborn's side, and he will die. Infest coming out of the Minotaur, and first it will be okay. Illusions are as Bot Tower falls. So, strong farm here on everybody on the Hellborn side, of course. 240 GPM, everybody has at least Panda up to 400 and over 300 on both primary farmers. And normally, I would say, jungle versus no jungle, the advantage is, is in Legion side, but, you know, with Reason showing the ability of the second support to really counteract the jungle, it's not that surprising that the sec dual support lineup is winning here, especially because I think there's a pretty obvious skill difference um, that TCOG has the advantage in that respect. Shell Surf Song is coming in, and DM's in a little trouble. He's gonna get some TP support, though, and it's actually good that his tag canceled. Chain Reactions, though, coming in as he comes back. He takes the Master's Call. Nice Bat Blast heading to. Torture's in some trouble. He's going to fall. There it is. Bubble's also in some trouble. Not going to be enough for the Shell Surf, as now DM's coming back in for some reason. That's going to kill him, though. The Power Throw helping out. Emerald Lightning hitting two. Nice stun there for Luna. And Panda's in some trouble still. Nice stop. The Catman Souls are coming out, plus the Leech, and Panda's going to die here to the Torrent. But Sequence going to come in and clean up on uh, Hag, so she will fall. Luna taking a Health Pot, and... Prop me emerald. It doesn't actually have a mana to do anything with it. And 
that will be the end of that fight, as Legion has no mana left on anybody. Still pr plenty of health, but uh, not going to be able to get any mana up. So as I was saying, uh, normally the um, the jungle would be favored over the dual support, but I think between the skill difference and the fact that um, you know Hellborn did play this really well, like if you're going to play a second support lineup, then you have to win at least two lanes in order to win the laning phase. And sorry, I'm um, bot Master of Arms falls. Just to jump from Panda and a bunch of flurries and bam, he's dead. Nothing Panda can do there. Or, uh, Master can do there. Panda, one of the strongest single target heroes in the game, of course. Between Flick, Cannonball, and his ult, he can lock you down for like 8 seconds and do a ton of damage. Face hug there onto Torture as they sort of split their attacks here. Parasite's still in some trouble. An auto attack will K help him go down, but Torture and Bubbles probably going to open up all here. Take cover. Shell Surf. He will port away. Is it going to be enough? Hag still there, and that's going to be a finish. So. It would have been Sonar Scream anyway, but instead there, Trunk Master gets the kill. So a two for one exchange there, as despite the fact that they split their damage a little bit on bottom, meanwhile, Emerald, sorry, Aluda has a regen rune, gonna back Hag off a bit, but that Blink, of course, makes her totally fine. Um, so anyway, the, you know, the, the Hellboard team played this extremely well. They didn't win top, but they did well enough uh, sequence on that Madman, not getting completely shut down. They won mid with bubbles. They won bot extremely hard. And the other thing was Parasite didn't do much. Um, you know, Parasite's a ganking jungler. He's not really a heavy farmer. He can, he can sit in the jungle and farm all right, but he's not a hero that you pick up expecting not to see him for five minutes. Um, and he spent the first several minutes of this game. You know, he started in the Hellborn jungle, went back to the Legion, went back to the Hellborn. So he, he wasn't really sure what he was going to do, and as a result, he stayed at a low level for too long, which, you know, on Parasite is huge, because he wants levels so badly. Um, he didn't get any kills, he wasn't able to help bot whatsoever, so, you know, that jungler is normally good because he replaces a, a relatively ineffective support. In this situation, the supports were helping bot get kills, and Parasite was running around the map not doing anything. So over here, Bubble's going to help take out Hag, and now he's in a little trouble as he needs to take the Torrent. And the Barrel Roll actually finishes off um, Parasite, so Legion Team now on the run. Emerald Stone onto Master of Arms, and he's going to fall. At least the Kraken gets dropped onto both supports, but neither of those going to do too much. DM coming in here looking for some cleanup, but he's got four heroes opposing him, and that's going to finish him off. So nice hat trick there from Sequence, using that Barrel Roll to get a couple of kills, ultimately. And this is going to be a mid-tower push, as Torturer's Impalement is just up, so this is going to be a dead mid-tower even with the ports. Three ports coming in, nice chain reaction, going to stop cracking from doing anything. Fork Lightning onto a charge shot, not going to happen, as Hag is over here trying to pick up bubbles, but nice ultimate from it. Actually, Panda, but the uh, Hag takes the defensive master's call, looking for get over the cliffs. A nice cannonball there, but the bat blast is on his face. And despite the flurries, this is probably going to be a dead panda. Has no mana left. Just too many Hellborn or Legion heroes as this sonar screen does kill him. So Hellborn continued to take the advantage, but never to the extent that they can just, you know, outright win fights. They they do tend to win these fights, but then they come back, they lose a fight, or they don't, you know, they, they take three for two, three for three, something like that. So they are gradually increasing their golden experience lead, which is good, and that's obviously what you're supposed to be doing. But it's never getting out of hand, and um, that's certainly better than the losers match we saw between BWA and um, sorry, no, we didn't see BWA before. I guess we did. BWA and NK. I think that was it. That was match. No, match one was. Something like that. I don't know. I casted this team before. I don't remember what the match was now. Makes me feel stupid, but that's what happens. So, a little scout. Actually, DM gonna get scattered out. Good. We'll go for the attack here, but Kelfield's gonna stop him in his tracks. Cracking gonna miss the charge, but here comes the haunt and the Sun Scream onto torture, and he's in some trouble. Charge shot there as well, and he's just dead. 
Master of Arms call on a DM actually as Parasite's looking for more on the bubbles, but will not find it. Instead of Kraken just choosing to come out. Emerald stun coming on him, he'll do a bunch of damage. There actually is the nice barrel kills too. Now three Master of Arms also falling. And DM is running back trying to survive now as four heroes from the Hellborn team are running in here. DM in some trouble, is able to stagger away. Barrel hits nothing. Shell Surf gonna take him out though. And we're looking for a final kill on Hag. Not gonna happen as Bubbles decides to just leave. Of course, Hag, no stuns, can't stop it. So this tower gonna take some pressure, but Panda's tanking it, deciding he doesn't want to do that anymore. Sonar Scream coming out as Sequence is in some trouble but won't die, and Aluna able to get that health pot off and be totally fine. Nice hiding spot there from Panda, getting out of vision of the tower. And this is going to be a dead tower on top, but the question is, will it be denied? Yes, it will. As there's plenty of support here coming in from the Hellborn side, and Panda's sticking around here like he wants to get this tower finished off, and I understand that. But there's a little too much support from the leading side, so this is definitely going to be a tower denied. Good support from Legion, making sure they don't give up a tower without a fight. Bubbles in here is going to spot DM and put some auto attacks. Yeah, there goes the take cover in the portal key so he can't get jumped. Of course, DM can put a ton of damage out, but probably wouldn't be able to kill Bubbles um, right off the bat and therefore wouldn't be able to kill him because, of course, he's got that shell surf and portal key. Jump in here as Charge will hit Torture, and he's down a ton of trouble. Kelpfield goes off into both of them, but the Hag comes in, and this will finish off Tort. Master's Call onto Drunken Master, so he's going to be totally fine. Nice charge there. And Bubbles is looking for a finish on Hag, but he's probably not going to find it. Hag blinks away, and there's a power throw not going to hit anybody. Stam's still hanging out middle, and <laughs> the Shell Surf, I believe, hit both of them. But Drunken Master going to head up, knowing Bubbles is still in the woods, and that's definitely the correct decision. Sequence's Illusion is going to get spotted out here by both Parasite and Master, throwing a Fork Lightning will kill them both. Bubbles is going to run into three heroes, and he might be in some trouble. Master has no mana, so that's a bit of an issue, but uh, oh. oh, nice disjoint. Hag still going to see him. Now, there's a Sun Scream and the Haunt. Lots of trouble, actually. Nice take cover there, but will still have the damage, and down goes Panny. So a little too aggressive there, I think, without any vision. Sorry, no, he did have vision. There's a word up here. What am I even talking about? Um... Playing a little greedy nonetheless, as we're going to see their engagement here. Panda does have a Null Stone, so that's an interesting pickup. Chain reactions there on to <laughs> Parasite as he just gets melted. Torture also going to fall there. Bath Blast has two. But Panda is just like, I'm so tanky, buddies. And Torture is getting owned by this uh, Wretched Hag. So Par Kraken somehow has a portal key. That was fast, man. 211 GPM. Pretty decent recovery considering his atrocious start. But, you know, Panda Nullstone, and Sequence Nullstone. So they have two Nullstones on this Hellborn team. I don't think I've seen a Nullstone in a competitive match in months, maybe even years. And it's commonly regarded as one of the worst items in the game. Just because it costs 5200 gold, and it gives you some decent stats and some decent regen, but not that much. Like, for that much money, you should get, like, a Sheep Six way better. Now, I don't really subscribe to that theory. I think Nullstone is a viable item. Not just because, uh, sorry, up here, Master getting caught by Bubbles, and Drunken Master's coming in, though, so is Hag, and Bubbles needs to be careful. Taking the charge shot, and able to portal key away, so there's a nice take cover. Um, anyway, I think I think Nullstone is a competitively viable item, because now he has a haste room coming right back in the same place. Man, Panny. Um, especially if you have an opposing team that doesn't have too much to shut you down, and or a lot of it is single target, and that's definitely the case here. Jump here, Son of Scream, onto Torture. We're going to take some damage, but the Emerald Red's going to come out. Torture taking nothing. Actually, he will survive as the entire Legion team gets cleaned up. He does get denied. And Master of Arms is the only one dropped as they just grouped up into one and take, took a bunch of damage there from Sequence's Sparrow Roll and the Kelp Field and everything. Nice Emerald Red stun as well as Bot Towers actually get pushed in pretty hard. So it was mid. So this tower will definitely fall. Bot tower is also in some danger. But Panda not going to choose to push that in. Nice fight there for the Hellborn side. Killing four for none, really, as uh, Torture was in fact denied. 
But anyway, I, I don't know. My feelings on Millstone, it's not always viable. But if you look at the Legion side here, Torrent, Drunken Master stuff, Charge Shot, sorry, immediately is Panty just crazy. Like, what's he even doing? I think he's funny. I mean, that's, I don't even know what that was. Um, anyway, so you look at this Legion side, Torrent, Drunken Master, both of Parasite's abilities, Charge Shot, and Haunt. So they've got, that's what, six abilities there that, uh, that can be stopped by the Nullstone. And normally you'd just be like, oh, Shrunken Head stops all of them. And that's definitely true. And to be honest, this is not a bad Shrunken Head game. Perhaps even better than it is for Nullstone. The only reason I feel like it's viable to get a Nullstone is because it's a team-oriented item. Because the Nullstone doesn't, like, with the Shrunken Head you can't target. So the, the spell doesn't go off cool, uh, on cooldown. The Nullstone actually takes the spells. I'm going to see a jump here on Panda and he's just going to die. Nothing he can do there. Sorry, Master of Arms up, up top. Meanwhile, we see a pick on the Drunken Master as Torture is just chasing him down. Nice push book there. Just enough mana. Kraken's going to get a bunch of damage here, though, too. Where's the charge? Chain Reaction's going to be enough, and now Torch should be all right, especially Sequence coming in here. Going to be able to do some more damage. Torture doesn't have enough for an ult, or a stun, for that matter. And Kraken ult and charge away, and he'll be fine. So, Torture getting a little greedy here, but... We'll see. Hag in the middle. Gonna get chased down a little bit. There's a the Shell Surf. And nice ultimate from Panda. That's gonna be a dead Hag, no question. <laughs> Panny just stealing, waiting for the steal with the Song of the Sea. It's Panny bad manners. Anyway, so Null Stones, you know, they, they take the ability. So with a shrunken head, it's basically a don't focus me, don't focus me, don't focus me, don't focus me. Focus my team. And with a null stone, it's I'm gonna eat the spell for my team. So if you have, you know, a more team fight oriented game, then a null stone might not be a bad pick because, you know, that one hero that's important will lose everything. Oh, and his panda's getting jumped here, jumps away, not gonna happen. There's a fork lightning, we'll slow him down. Flurry's back in, but that's not gonna be nearly enough as pa uh, Parasite grabs the kill. CC book going out, I don't fully disagree with that. As Congo's gonna fall out here. <laughs> Um, and that's the game. So, wins. you know, TCOG winning their lanes and then winning the game, not that surprising. They just transitioned well from a, a strong, very strong early game into a strong mid game and then took the game. And uh, BRE apparently felt that that's not, it's not worth pursuing this. Um, so, interesting that we see the Null Stones there. Interesting we see the Panda pick up. Uh, I wonder how seriously TCOG is taking, taking this game and this team. Um, considering their record against really high tier teams, I don't think that's completely out of line. That maybe this isn't the biggest matchup for them, but um, certainly they played pretty hard and took a pretty easy win here. So that's going to be it for game one, and let's move on to game two.